first of all, I've got to say hello to everyone, including hello, my friend, Mr. Orpheus. Hey, Orpheus, you've noticed the resemblance between me and Dionysus, haven't you, mate? <laughs> I'll tell you a little secret, but you have to promise not to tell. We're really the same god. I love a good feast, don't I? <laughs> okay, um, this is a reference to one of the things that you can do with Dionysus, which is where you can prank Orpheus with him, and I've just started that little quest line thingy, so... <laughs> uh, hey! <laughs> Totally not lying to Orpheus. This is totally legit. We're totally the same god. But sadly, as that is a striking revelation, the connection you describe, I see it. I can see it now. To think the god of wine and you are intricately linked. It isn't obvious, is it? Oh, I took a sip of drink at the wrong moment. Nope, it's not obvious at all. <laughs> oh, there's more to it. A bit grim, really, as I'm a little older than I look. You see, the Titans, they once tore me limb from limb, but then my heart was saved, and that's where Dionysus comes from. That is the connection between us. You understand me, mate? <laughs> Perfect! Perfect! An actual reference to religion. Yes! Yes, it's an actual mythology reference. <laughs> Your tale stirs my soul. It truly does, my friend. It is a marvel to me that such heroism isn't widely known, and I'm committed to the spread of all such truths. Oh boy. Dionysus and I appreciate it, mate. So now it is time for the segment we call Coffee Goes on a Tangent. <laughs> so, you will want to learn some stuff about Dionysus and Zacharias. Um, because as Cream Soda points out, they were indeed confused in documentation. Basically, Mr. Dionysus is a man. And th when people were trying to go back in time to see how far back this god existed, they couldn't really find much, but what they did stumble upon is a god called Zagreus. Zagreus is incredibly unknown because he is so old that the time that he comes from contains texts and writing that we can no longer understand, and we can barely translate. So because of that, um, a lot of people have hypothesized that maybe Zagreus and Dionysus are either the same person, or Zagreus led to the creation of Dionysus. Like, Dionysus is sort of a epithet, I believe it is pronounced, which it basically means that if there is Zagreus, uh, one of his little extensions would be Dionysus. Uh, but people don't know because so little is known about Zacharias that we have no idea. Um, but some people believe that Dionysus basically is Zacharias, at least in the more uh, widely written about Greek mythology that we all know of. Um, but people aren't sure, and I don't think we're ever going to be sure, uh, unless someone can finally figure out how to translate all of those old texts. We're never going to know. Uh, so until then, <laughs> I guess we'll continue to tell Orpheus tales about how Zagreus and Dionysus are totally the same person and totally not two different gods. <laughs> um, further context, uh, Mr. Zagreus, the man himself, he is believed to have been the god of trapping, uh, specifically hunting traps, and he is either the son of Persephone and Zeus or the son of Persephone and Hades. Uh, he is referenced as the highest of the gods. Why? No clue. <laughs> no one knows. Uh, but there's several references to him being the highest of the gods. So that's something. Uh, this game, Hades, thinks that Zagreus is the god of blood. From my research into Zagreus, there's actually nothing like from the old texts that would imply he is the god of blood. But I like this game's interpretation of it. I think that's quite neat. Uh, so I'm just gonna say, cool, Pog Champ, good job, game. <laughs> um, meanwhile, obviously Dionysus is the god of wine. He's also the god of madness, though, uh, which if Zagreus has connections to the underworld due to being the son of Hades and Persephone, uh, I don't know, maybe madness could link into that. Rebirth certainly does link into that, uh, and what 
what Zagreus was telling Orpheus about how the Titans cut him up and only his heart remained, that's what happened to Dionysus. Dionysus gets torn to shreds by Titans, only his heart remains, it's sewed into Zeus's leg and somehow that keeps him alive and eventually he's born. Yeah, Greek mythology weird. But um, <laughs> yeah, so perhaps the b theme of rebirth because it involves death could link Dionysus and Zagreus in real mythology terms. But yeah, okay, I'm 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 going to stop there because this tangent has gone on long enough. Let's talk to Nyx now. <laughs> you have met most of your Olympian relatives by now, child. Although the power of their blessings is fleeting here, they shall continue to support you as long as necessary. They all still think I'm headed to join them on Olympus. That's why they're helping me. It is indeed. <laughs> 